Hello everybody and welcome back to my Pokemon Soul Silver walkthrough. We're currently in Whirlpool Island and I did get a bit lost but I finally pretty much found my way. Uh, by the way the mystery Pokemon in the last part was a Raichu, it was quite an easy one. And guys, let's have a look at this guys, on my right hand side I have... Well, on my left hand side now I have an Espeon and Espeon is holding something. Would I like to take it? Okay, whatever. What is, what is it Espeon? A seashell. Well, thanks, thanks, Espion. That's that's great. But yeah, if we look at my team, um, pretty much I've grinded everything up a little bit. I got an Espion level 39 now because Eevee was happy enough. I really, really want to swap out Mill Tank for something. One final good Pokemon. I'm thinking about Tyranitar, but that thing doesn't turn into a Tyranitar until level 55 or what is it, Lavatar or something. So if you guys have any really good suggestions for a sixth and final Pokemon before the Elite Four, let me know. That'd be great. Anyway, uh, we're pretty much towards Lugia now. There's a Monk there. Let's get out of the way. Is it inside here, I think? Uh, oh, no. But I got a rare candy. I'm not complaining about that. And I think uh, Lugia comes out of that waterfall, so we just need to go all the way down this massive ledge. My repels effect wore off, whatever. And let's go through here. And here we go, the Kimono girls are in the way. That's right, this is where we welcome Lugia. Okay, I, I won't do any voice acting. Uh, when the dance begins, stuff happens, and there's a waterfall. Okay, more or less. Alright, here we go. Ceremony is activating. Wow. That, that sure is impressive. Here we go. Lugia, hello. Uh-oh, screen shaking. You know, some serious shit is going down when the screen shakes. Oh my god! It's Lugia! Hello. Hello, Lugia. I, I will catch you. You would be my bitch. This is indeed Lugia, the guardian of these islands from ancient times. So many have tried and again only to fail. Okay. It's been waiting for me. Alright. Well. Oh, get out of my way. Well, I better surf the sea. And we will see if Lugia's for me. Let me just quickly save the game, guys. Because, you know, when there's one... Well, things like Lugia, you don't. I don't want to really screw up on. Uh, I'll try some more triples, I guess, but... Whatever. Here we go. Some pretty, pretty epic music, I guess. Level 45. Yeah, I could use that over Mill Tank, but I don't like to use legendary Pokemon, really. But yeah, Flash. Oh, God. Oh, dearie me. Alright, I did some decent damage. Alright, I'm just going to Flash this thing to death if it'll, it'll allow me to. Ouch. I uh, just got to pray that it misses, thank God. <laughs> I'm a I'm a troll. I am Mega Troll Aaron Ash. All right, now that its accuracy is pretty much fucked, I can uh, get some attacks off. Oh, super effective! All right, well I'm being a bit of an idiot here, so I better use a uh, a hyper potion on my Espeon. Don't particularly want it to faint too quickly. But yeah, Lugia is a pretty tough foe, honestly. It's, it's not going to be easy to whittle down to red health. But when I do get it down to red health, I'm going to use a uh, a Thunder Wave with my Ampharos. So it's paralyzed. And then uh, I'll throw whatever balls I got. I don't even know how many Ultra Balls I have. I might only have like half a dozen or something. So it's not, it's not going to be easy. I might have to get a bit lucky, really. But yeah, look at this. I just keep biting this thing, and it's almost almost down to red health already, so... Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, quick attack. Ah, shit, that did hardly anything. Whatever. Come on, Espeon. I am so proud of you right now. So It's all thanks to Flash. If it wasn't for Flash, this thing wouldn't be so, you know, hurt. And that, that would have really done some damage. Yes! Oh, oh, dearie me, guys. This isn't good. Alright. I I think one more quick attack might work. Let's try. Yes, 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 yes. This is great news, guys. Alright. This thing isn't going to get much lower than that. So, I'm going to crack out Ampharos now. And we're going to use a Thunder Wave on it. And um, hopefully... Hopefully, we'll be in some pretty good position. 
I'll, I'll use a uh, light screen as well, just to um, defend ourselves a bit better. And now it's time to start throwing some of these Pokeballs. Uh, one Ultra Ball, two Great Balls, and a Pokeball. If I can catch this Lugia with this piece of trash setup, I am amazing. Alright, come on Ultra Ball. Oh my god, didn't even make it shake. This is bad. Ah, shit. Um, alright, Great Balls it is then. There is no way in how I'm catching this thing. Fuck my life. No! No, don't do that! Lugia, what's your problem? Uh, Great Ball, go! Please, please work! God damn it, it's not even shaking. It's just... It's just breaking out! Ugh. Fuck! Alright, guys, well, unfortunately... I am going to be forced to use a Master Ball. The good news is, I believe on this game, you can get one more Master Ball if you can win the, uh, the lottery thing, I think. But I feel a bit bad using this. Uh, whatever. Go, Master Ball. I see you break out of this, Lugia. There we go. Oh, Lugia is there. It was added to the Pokedex. Yeah, it's the Guardian of the Season stuff. Uh, no thanks. Alright, there we go, Kimono Gills. I've caught it. What what do you think? You are so wonderful, there is nothing for us to say. Alright, goodbye then. Now how the bloody hell do I get out of this bloody place? Oh my god. Alright. Ah, no! No random poker a crabby. A, a freaking crabby, no. Alright, um well it's time for me to get out of this place. I have a Lugia now. I might swap Mill Tank out for it just because, you know, I'm not liking it right now. But when it comes to me facing the uh, Elite Four, I don't particularly want to use a Lugia because I'll feel dirty. Liz, now is not the time. What is your problem? You always have to ring me all the time, don't you? You, you seriously, what, honestly, just never again, please. All right, well, there we go, guys. We've caught Lugia. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um... We're going to now fly all the way back down to Nubak Town. Actually, honestly, I don't think even Nubak Town has a poker center, so may have not been the greatest decision because I do want to put Lugia in my team instead of Mill Tank. So, oh dear, whatever. Uh, going through Route 29, we Repels Effect wore off, whatever. Just let me through, you bastards. Oh no. No, I don't want to fight shit Pokemon. There we go. I'm so lazy that I'm not even going to use Fly on my Crobat to get to the next town. There we go. Alright, Poker Center, here we go. Just in time, Repel. Let's put Lugia on my team instead of Miltank. Bill's PC, we're going to deposit my, my Miltank. He's a, she's a good HM whore, don't get me wrong. And if there's any caves, I might want her for strength, because it's obviously going to have boulders in. But we'll withdraw Lugia for now. This isn't a permanent thing, by the way, because I don't like using legendaries in this game because I feel like it's cheating. We'll quickly heal up my team. We'll then go back to Nubat Town and we'll go uh, east, I think it is, and um, we'll see where it leads us. I believe it'll lead us to the Elite Four eventually, which is nice. And I'm really in love with my Espeon right now. I think uh, I think Espeon is awesome. Oh, damn it. We Okay. Oh no! No! Oh, I'm gonna fight like a level two Rattata. Uh, oh, thank God for that. Okay, we're in Ubuntu Town. Uh, I think the professor wanted to give me something, or has he already given me something? We'll find out anyway. Hello. I thought the egg hatched. Where is the Pokemon? Ah, oh, good job. The egg appeared to be rare. Kim says something. Uh, you made your mind up and stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, okay, there we go. Alright, he didn't have anything important to say, I guess, so that was a bit of a waste of time, really, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll crack out our Max Repel, and we'll continue on east towards the Elite Four, which is not going to be easy. Don't get me wrong, the Elite Four is not easy whatsoever. Uh, screw you, guy. Okay, Tojo Falls. Let me guess, there's Waterfalls, isn't there? Alright, the good news is, because I got the 8th Gym Badge, I can actually use Waterfall now. So let's have a little swim. There we go. And what's that? We going straight down. <laughs> that was nice. Nice little thing there. And there we go. Route 27. There's already a trainer waiting for me. It's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? Oh, maybe. Maybe. 
Bulbasaur. Really? Well, this is going to be easy. We'll just crack out the Psybeam. No problems there. She'll probably crack out Ivysaur next. Yeah, and then maybe a Venusaur. Nice little lineup. Don't get me wrong. That's pretty cool. If you do have a Venusaur and not two Ivysaurs. So, well, we'll see, won't we? Lots of experience for me. For the mash. And a Venusaur. Let's see what I've got. Uh, Gyarados is only level 38. I think Ice is quite effective. So, we'll give it a bash. Uh, honestly, I am being quite dumb sending this out against a grass Pokemon, I think, but whatever, we'll use Ice Fang. Yeah, I thought it was super effective. Ah, oh, no way! I did not expect it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we'll just use another Ice Fang, and there we go. Good one, Gyarados. I'm quite proud of you. You, you, did, you did me well. I'm really strong. Why, thank you. Now, get the fuck out. Hello, old lady. Where are you off to with Pokemon? The Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough to win? Let me see. Uh, here's a gift. Wow, what, what is it? 37? Sandstorm. That is awesome, especially with Tyranitar. Like, super awesome. Alright, let's uh, continue going east and uh, see what the game brings me. Um, another trainer. You look pretty strong. Let me battle you. They're all, all ace trainers now because, you know, they, when you get to this stage in the game, you don't face any shit people. They're all good. And wow, I didn't didn't expect it to do so little damage. Damn you, Magneton. Damn you. I, I hate steel. Steel Pokemon piss me off. Uh, at least Psybeam does semi-decent damage. Come on, Espeon. Yes, and we'll use Bite. Alright, I'm going to swap Espeon out now because uh, he won't be that useful, honestly. Uh, Quagsire. Um, Alright, Ampharos, you'll be good against this. Uh, actually, wait, isn't Quagsire part ground? Oh dear, this isn't going to work out well. Fuck, I knew it. Why am I such an idiot? Why am I so bad at this bloody game? We're going to sound Crobat. I, I, uh, I don't know. That's actually quite great. That Quagsire is... Um, I'll stop using Yawn, please. That Quagsire is part ground, which means, um... Ha, <laughs> you failed. That, um... We we'll use Aeroblast. It's a good move. That electric attacks will do virtually... Well, won't affect it, which is great. Who knows? I might fall asleep. Well, I'm going to kill you before that happens. So, yeah, goodbye, Quagsire, you bastard. Man, Lugia is is awesome. But obviously, you know, he he's legendary. Execute. Alright, Crobat. You'll be good against this. Uh, we'll just crack out the Aerial Ace or maybe a Fly. And we'll beat this thing. Uh, well, Air Cutter, not Aerial Ace. I always get the names mixed up for some reason. Nah, I'm a bit dumb like that. There we go, that wasn't too bad. He doesn't even get to say anything. He's just like dot dot dot. You know, he's shocked. Oh, hello. You're good, aren't you? Well, you know, I'm just taking a stroll. And Mareep. Honestly, you have a level 35 Mareep? You are an idiot. Don't get me wrong, you're the biggest idiot I've come across besides that Team Rocket guy who had like a level 27 Rattata earlier on in the game. So, you know, I'm just disappointed in you, so never talk to me again, random guy. Um, up the stairs we go. There's going to be a cave, isn't there? Oh, a Pokeball. Come to me, Destiny Knot, whatever that is. Oh, no. Random Quagsire. Oh, dearie me. Screw you. All right, here's another trainer. Uh, let me actually... Um, We'll put Gyarados up to the front, because he's only level 38. Hello. Don't say a thing, let me guess what you're thinking. You're on the Pokemon League Challenge. It's not that hard to guess, Psychic Guy. And what are the chances that she has a bloody Starmie when she's a Psychic person? And my freaking Gyarados won't do any damage against it. I am not happy. I'm, I'm less than not happy, I'm pissed off, actually. Oh my god. Well, this, this is going to turn out to be annoying. Now, I know that Ampharos has a much higher special attack compared to, like... There's something I never really understood, and that's, um... With this game... Oh, come on, Ampharos, what is wrong with you? Um, for example, Gyarados, his Ice Fang will do more damage, or at least almost as much damage, as a Blizzard, despite it being a lot less powerful, because Gyarados is a stronger physical attacker or something and ice fang is like a physical special attack whereas blizzard is more of a special special attack if that makes any sense so oh, Gyarados will be useful now finally 
So the same thing goes for Amphros, his Thunder Punch does a lot less damage than Discharge. And I should teach Thunder over Thunder Punch, because somebody in the comment section told me to. And you know what, you're a smart guy, I'm going to do that. Um, eventually. <laughs> and oh my damn you Giraffe Rig. Uh, I might buy a Thunder from Mahogany Town. If not, I'm just going to... Um, I should have used Waterfall from the beginning, honestly, because that does more damage than uh, Ice Fang. Execute. Uh, Ice will do good against Execute, I think. But yeah, I'm going to probably teach um, Anthros Thunder. Uh, I know he learns it at like a really high level, like 50 or something, but that's a long way away. And I might be best off just teaching him right off the bat. Oh, who are you? You came from Newbot Town. You must be exhausted. Yeah, I am. Can you just leave me alone and let me run past? Oh, for once I have a good matchup, finally. You know, I've been really unlucky up to this point. You know, freaking Stamis and stuff. But here we go. Take that, you level 36 Growlithe. You should be an Arcanine by now, really. And, mmm, juicy. Need Arena. Uh, Espeon, it's your time to shine. I've been overusing you lately because I like you a lot. To be honest, guys, I love Psychic Pokemon. I think they're bloody great. They're great against Ghosts. They're great against Poison. And they, they usually have really high special attacks. So I love Ghost po I mean, Psychic Pokemon. <laughs> Not Ghost Pokemon. So yeah, I think my team is pretty awesome right now. I just, you know, Lugia is only temporary until uh, I get a good replacement. Because uh, I don't want to, you know, abuse a legendary Pokemon when I could just use normal. Oh, you're a female. Okay, I'll take your phone number. Your practice partner. I take out the practice and there we go. We'll just be that. Um, man, there's so many people and he looks like a fisherman. So Ampharos will switch you out. And I, uh, uh, I don't want to use Hyper Potions, really. I'm feeling great today. And then I didn't really read the rest. But yeah, Quillfish. Let's just pray he doesn't have a Quagsire to ruin my day with. Because, you know, Park Grounds. That kind of pisses me off, really. Oh, another Quillfish. I think he actually has, like, three Quillfish, if I remember. Which, don't get me wrong, is really stupid. <laughs> Like severely stupid. Oh, he's got a Sea King. Guess I was wrong. Alright, we'll just use another Discharge, and that should should do the trick, really. Yeah, there we go. This, uh, not in this battle. Okay, at least he didn't try and give me his phone number. Oh, shit, I forgot to put my Max Repels on. And still, there are shit Raticates roaming around in the wild. You know, d disease ridden things. Wow, look at all those badges. I'm impressed. But you're not satisfied for, by just collecting them, right? Well, the reason I got them was to face the Elite Four, obviously. Uh, you know, that's not too bad of a matchup, really, if that Psybeam doesn't kill me. Bollocks, a critical hit. Well, talk about unlucky today. Um, well, Crobat would be a very bad choice. Espeon's not a good choice. Typhlosion is a, a nice choice against this thing. Maybe, maybe this will do the trick. If it doesn't, I should have used Blast Burn. Yeah, I should have cracked out the Blast Burn, really. And we use Swift now, and that thing's dead. There we go. Not not too bad. Yay, Typhlosion level 43. Good battle, thank you. As you guys can probably tell, my uh, starting Pokemon isn't super over-level now compared to the rest of my team, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, what's in this house? I hope there's like a nice lady. Um, uh, rest. I mean, okay. Oh, thank you. I, I thought this lady might rest my Pokemon. I could kind of guess. And look, an Apricorn tree. No! Since you've come this far, you must be good. I'm going to give this battle everything I've got. That's cool. I'm not complaining. And Pikachu. Well, that's a terrible matchup. Ah, oh, dearie me. Like, those two moves are great. Discharge and Thunder. I think, that, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach it Thunder then. And that'll be it. Um... Oh, we'll use Espeon. My team is pretty much all in the level 40s now. I'm quite happy with that. Hey, that is an awesome, super duper awesome uh, stat that Espeon has. Whenever he gets status effect, it does it to the other Pokemon as well. I'm really happy with that. Blastoise. All right, Ampharos. Man, these trainers have some good Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. Look at that. That is awesome. Let's see if I can one-shot it. Oh wow, freaking great. I did not expect that. I don't believe this. You should have had a Raichu instead of a Pikachu, really. Don't get me wrong, Pikachu's cute and all, but Raichu is obviously a lot better. 
Okay. F further up we go. Um, there's a trainer there. Let's see if I can avoid the bastard. Nope. Alright, looks like we're fighting him. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. Yeah, more or less. Three Pokemon, a victory bell. Yet again, a terrible matchup for the mash. So we'll use Crobat now. Let's hope he goes for Poison Powder. Yes, Toxic. Thank you. If, a st if he used Stun Spore or Sleep Powder, then I would have... Actually, I don't think Victory Battle knows those moves. I think that's Vile Plume. Or may maybe it does, I'm not too sure. But nice. Ampharos wants to learn Signal Beam. Alright, let's see what it does. Oh no! Signal Beam. It's a bug move. The user attacks with a Sinister Beam of Light. It may confuse the target. That is really, really good. Um... I love Thunder Wave and I love Light Screen. Let me think for a second. Um, I'm going to teach over Thunder Punch for now, guys, because obviously Discharge is way better than Thunder Punch. A Kingler. All right, and for us, we'll crack you out then. Uh, we use uh, Discharge on this thing. Ah, Kingler's pretty good. Ah, you bastard. I'm trying to ruin my PP, are we? cool thing about Protect, for me, is if you use it more than once in a row, it has a higher chance of failing, as we all just witnessed. But yeah, my team is pretty, pretty awesome in terms of type advantages and stuff. Like, I can crack out the type advantage each time they, like, these peoples send out the, uh, op well, the Pokemon with the weakness, so it's great for me. It's really great for me. Life is even tougher. Uh, sorry. But my phone is quite full right now. Another guy. I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. Ah, more or less the same here then. Jake. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, why do they always send out grass bug Pokemon straight away? You know, it pisses me off. Well, can't you send out like a Stami or a water Pokemon? Ouch. Critical hit, not bad. Um, That should kill it, I would hope. Yeah, I thought so. No need to, no need to use Flamethrower or anything. Uh, Golduck will send out Ampharos. I think Typhosion needs like a different, well, a non-fire move over Lava Plume because Blast Burn and Flamethrower, you know, that that's two good, um, why did I use Thunder Wave? I'm an idiot. That's two good fire moves. So I don't exactly need three fire moves. It's, you know, it really is overdoing it. I think it'd be best if I had like a move that, uh, is either physical, a different type, or sort of do something status effect wise, I think. But yeah, Vaporeon, we use Discharge, and that's that. That thing's dead. We, I think Bug is super effective against Psychic. I'm quite sure about that. I blew it. Indeed, you did. Further north we go. And there's something in front of me there. I lost to a Redhead Trainer. He was really strong. He absolutely had to win at all costs. I feel sorry for his Pokemon. Yeah, I feel kind of the same way, and eh, not too bad of a matchup. We'll use uh, Discharge, I guess. Oh, not bad. I was burnt. That's quite annoying. Why don't you use that on my Espeon? But yeah, down to red health. But she's another discharge. There's no point really in using anything else. Alright, let's see what she sends out next. Uh, oh, very nice. Quite happy with that. No! Flaffy. That's an electric Pokemon. Uh, we'll just crack out Typhlosion, I guess. Uh, it's always good to get him some more, some more experience since he is my starting Pokemon, and he's he's a quite he's quite a tough one. Yeah, he's pretty damn good, and that Flamethrower will win me the the match here. Should have had an Ampharos, uh, Jamie. And they aren't tools of war. I agree. Okay, I'll take your phone number. <laughs> yes. God, I wish this was like real life, man. I'd be a pimp. I'd be an absolute pimp. I would. And uh, we'll go through here. And what's this guy want? Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Go right ahead. Thank you. And we go north here. And this is Victory Road. Alright. Okay, guys. In the next part, we're going to go through Victory Road. We'll get to the Elite Four. And then things get really serious. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And see you all in the next video. Goodbye.